Hello guys. So let us start with the first topic in quantitative aptitude that is number systems. I'll be doing it clip by clip and I'll merging it. <clears throat> so numbers are basically dif uh, distinguished between in two types, real and imaginary. So imaginary number are the numbers uh, which are of the form square root of minus one. Root of minus one cannot be determined on real axis. So we denote it as i. So if I square it, I, I square is equal to minus one. We can play with the powers of i, which, uh, which we'll see uh, later on. Real numbers are basically classified into several parts. Integers, whole numbers, natural numbers. Integers are numbers which have nothing after the decimal point. And uh, whole numbers start from zero, zero, one, two, basically non-negative integers. And if I exclude zero, it becomes natural numbers. Rational numbers are the ratio of two integers, p by q. So 3 by 4, let me write it, 3 by 4 is a rational number. 4 by 3 is also a rational number. The only difference between these two is this is proper because the value will be less than 1. And this is improper rational number because the value will be more than 1. Irrational numbers are numbers which are non-recurring and never-ending. So the value of pi 3.1428 blah 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 it goes on never ends square root of 2 and square root of any prime number for that matter is a rational number. Right? I'll give you an example how to convert a number which repeats and that can be written in the in a rational form. So for example 1.333 dot 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 this is a rational number not irrational. Right, because irrational numbers are non-repeating and never ending. So as you can see the value of x is 1.3434 dot dot dot. It repeats, 3, 4 repeats. So this is a rational number, not an irrational number. It is also written as 1.34 bar. The bar sign indicates that these two digits are repeating. Let us start the process to convert it into its rational form. So I can see two digits are repeating. What I'll do is I'll multiply by 100 because two digits are repeating. I get 134.3434 dot dot dot. And now what we'll do is we'll subtract x from the value of 100x. If I do that, I'll get 100x minus x, that is 99x. Equals 134 minus 1 is 133. And as you can see, 34, 34, 34 bar 34 after the decimal point will get cancelled out. The value of x is nothing but 133 by 99, which is a rational number. It is an improper rational number and done. Now, we have to determine which of the following fractions is greater. So there is a very simple method. What we do is we cross multiply and then we check. So 17 into 3 and then 14 into 5. This is 51. This is 70. Clearly this is greater. Which means that this fraction is greater. We have to maintain the coherence in line. So clearly 5 by 17 is on the right hand side. That is the greater one. Now I'll be explaining how to find out square of any number. So numbers ending in 5 is very easy let's say I want to find out 35 square we just do 5 square which is 25 multiply 3 with the next number 4 which is 12 done that is the answer 1 2 2 5 this was pretty easy what if I want to find out the square of a number not ending in 5 36 square so what we do is we write down 6 square which is 36 but write down 3 very small as if it is carried then the next step we do 3 into 6 into 2 which is 18 to the 36 and then add this carry which is 39 so again write it like this 39 then the last step is 3 square which is 9 9 plus 3 this carry was 12 I write down like this the answer is 1296 and then go done